you can sew a useful bag for your bicycle. Pack a water bottle in one side pocket and your phone in the other. There's even room for your lunch. This tutorial was sponsored by allfreesewing.com. Let's begin by talking about fabric choices. Because this bag is designed for outdoor use, it's a good idea to choose a fabric that's water resistant. You can use oil cloth or a vinyl tablecloth. Or you can select an outdoor canvas that's specially treated to be mildew resistant, such as this one. Take note of the fabric care instructions listed on the bolt of cloth. If your fabric can withstand ironing, it will make your finished project tidier if you press your seams as you go. Start by cutting your fabrics to the measurements listed. We'll begin with the bag lining. If you watched my stroller bag tutorial, you'll notice this bag follows many of the same steps. Sew the lining side panels to the lining bottom panel, sewing one to each short end with right sides together. Sew with a half inch seam. Now we'll pin one of the main lining rectangles to the strip we sewed. Line up the short side of the large rectangle with one of the outer strip segments. Right sides should be together. Pin. When you reach your seam joining the strips together, it's time to turn the strip and pin it along the long side of the main piece. When you reach the next seam, turn again and pin the remaining side strip to the other short side of the main piece. Sew the sides and bottom in place with a half inch seam. When you reach a corner, tug gently on the fabric diagonally. You want the corner to be free of pleats. Finally, add the other main piece by pinning it to the rest of the bag, right sides together, matching up the edges. Sew with a half inch seam. Snip off the excess fabric at the corners, being careful not to cut your stitches. Now we'll move on to the bag flap. Lay the two bag flap pieces right sides together and pin. To round the flap, trace the edge of a plate and cut along the curve. If you want to add trim to the pocket flap, do it now. I chose a 100% polyester rickrack. Keep in mind that you'll be sewing this with a half inch seam, so pin accordingly. Lay the other flat piece on top, right sides together, and pin. Sew along the sides and curve, leaving the straight, short edge open. Cut off the excess trim. Then, notch the curved seam, being careful not to snip your stitches. Turn the flap right side out. Add a 1 8 inch top stitch around the edge of the flap. Consider using a contrasting thread for a pop of color. Next we'll work on the side panels and pockets. Find the two outer side pieces. Fold them in half. The pattern should be on the outside. Now we'll sew a seam a half inch below the fold to create a casing for the elastic. Change your machine setting to a basting stitch or the longest stitch available. Sew along the bottom raw edge of the side pocket pieces with a quarter inch basting stitch. Do not backstitch. Gently pull on the bottom thread to ruffle the fabric. Adjust the fabric so it fits the bottom of the side pocket panel. Pin in place, lining up the raw edges of both pieces. Now we'll add the elastic. Cut six inches of elastic for each pocket. Use a safety pin to thread it through the casing. Pin the sides of the pocket panel to the side panel. Hold the elastic taut so that the pocket panel fits the dimensions of the side panel. Pin the ends of the elastic to the sides of the pocket piece. Sew the sides and bottom of the pocket to the side panel with a quarter inch straight stitch, leaving the top open. Do this for both sides. Next we'll assemble the outer bag. Do it as you did the lining. Pin the side pieces to the short ends of the bottom piece and sew with a half inch seam. Make sure that you are sewing along the bottom of the pockets. Pin the side and bottom strip piece to the front bag piece. 
sew with a half inch seam. Then sew the last main rectangle to the bag. Next we'll make the straps. Fold the strap piece in half lengthwise and sew down the raw edge with a half inch stitch. Then turn right side out. Fold in one raw end of the tube and top stitch shut with the 1 8 inch seam. Continue adding a decorative top stitch all the way around the tube. To assemble the bag, turn the lining inside out. Pin the flap piece to the inside back of the bag, with the underside of the flap touching the back of the bag. Rather than lining up the flap with the top edge, extend the flap about an inch and a half past the edge of the bag to give it more durability. Next add the straps. The seam should be face up, not touching the back of the bag. Line the raw edge of the strap up with the edge of the flap. Finally, make sure the outer bag is right side out, then slide it into the lining. Right sides will be touching. Match at the side seams and pin all the way around. Sew with a half inch seam, leaving the front panel of the bag open for turning. Turn right side out through the front opening. Now we can finish the bag. I'm using plastic canvas to stiffen my bag in a way that will be weatherproof. Cut pieces of plastic canvas for the front and back sides and bottom of the bag. Fold them and gently insert through the front opening, sliding them into position. Once your plastic is in place, fold in the edges of the front hole and top stitch shut. Your bag should be able to stand on its own now. Now we'll add the snaps. If you'd like, you can add two coats of high quality nail polish to make your snaps match your bag. Fold the flap down and mark where your snap should go. The little hole punch tool that comes with the snap kit had no problem punching through the plastic canvas. Fold the flap down and snap. Use chalk to mark the line where the flap folds over the edge of the front piece. Top stitch along this mark and the flap will fold down more naturally along this line. Snap to your bike handles and you're ready to roll. This tutorial was sponsored by AllFreeSewing.com. For hundreds more tutorials, please visit my website, madebymarzipan.com.